Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we're doing the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. A lot of fun stuff going on with this. We have John Walker as the new Captain America. We have Carly Morgenthau, Thau, Morgenthau, Morgenthau. We have Bucky and Sam resenting John Walker for taking on the mantle of Captain America. The Super Soldier Serum, we're gonna find out a lot more on this episode. How do you feel going into it? So I'm really, really excited to see basically how the series finishes up. I really, really like Carly's character. Absolutely hate the new Captain America. So I'm hoping he crashes and burns. Wow. But I, I really want to see how everything plays out, especially between Bucky and Falcon, because they are just at odds and i'm hoping they can truly come together i know they kind of came to a little bit of a truce but i'm hoping that they can truly come together and get this issue resolved there's multiple things going on so it's it's going to be interesting to see how everything plays out all right let's just go ahead and get into it the final two episodes of falcon and the winter soldier oh jeez. still got that guy's blood on the mm -hmm. shield Some good cinematography right there. You saw what happened. You know what I had to do. I killed him because I had to. I'm not like you. Yeah, you're worse, it looks like. The heat of the battle. Oh my gosh. You don't want to do this? Yeah, we do. Whip him, Buck. Come on, Buck. Why are you making me do that? Insane. You gonna kill Falcon? We could have been a team. No, I'm good. He's so greasy. Bucky, come on. Jeez. This guy is such a loser. Bucky, come on, man. You're the winter soldier. Oh, yeah, I get it. Ah. Oh. oh, my gosh. I'm just going to take this now. Ah. There's blood all over it. He deserved every bit of that. Wait, yo, you forgot the wings. Keep them. You were hereby stripped of your title and authority as Captain America, effective immediately. I understand that! Oh my I understand that! Goodness. I only ever did what you asked of me, what you told me to be, and I did it well. Uh... You will hold no rank in retirement and receive no benefits. Oof. I am Captain America. Not anymore. Is that his like girlfriend or something? I guess. Mr. Walker. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's the end of him. Well, these boots are not made for walking. Yeah! She was in Black Widow. Yep. Tessa Valentino. I would have killed the bastard too. Nobody in there is mad at you about that. Who are you? You did the right thing, taking the serum. Yeah, of course, I know about that. Very valuable to certain people. Oh, no. But don't worry about the shield. It doesn't really belong to the government. It's kind of a legal gray area. I'll be in touch. So she basically offered him a second chance. I think that she's kind of like the reverse Nick Fury. How many times do we have to pay with our lives just to be sitting on it? I thought you'd be here sooner. I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Imagine my relief. Carly has people everywhere. And there's only one way to make sure she cannot continue her mission. Oh, uh, Bucky. Took 
the liberty of crossing off my name in your book. I hold no grudges for what you thought you had to do. We will take him to the raft. Hey. I may have another favor to ask of you. Now, what I think it is, the stars and stripes don't mean nothing good to me. I need to understand. You understand. Every black man does. If you ain't bitter, you're blind. Fight for this country. Only to come home to find crosses burned on their lawn. You could have been the next. The next? What? Blonde hair, blue eyes, stars and stripes. Steve did not put you in jail. A handful of us got shot up with different versions of that serum. Some of us started dying off. A couple of the boys get captured on a mission. Talking about blowing the POW camp to hell to hide the evidence. And I brought them boys back. Not that it made a damn bit of difference. 30 years, they experimented on me. There was a nurse. She took pity on me. She had me declared dead. That's who gave me this. I loved her so much. No, oh. Mr. Bradley, um... You think I wouldn't be dead in a day if you brought me out? They erased me. They will never let a black man be Captain America. Listen to me. Don't worry. I'm going to fix the boat. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be off saving the world? The government stepped in and took control and kind of benched us. Now, how many people still owe mom and dad something? All of them. You remember my mom and dad? Yes, I remember. Hey, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Thanks so <laughs> much, man. <laughs> hey, Thank y'all. Yeah. How do we get it off the truck? <laughs> Inside for it and I'll go. <laughs> I called in a favor from the Wakandans. You gotta go up. Why didn't you use the metal arm? Well, I don't always think of it immediately. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay here. The people in this town are the most welcoming people in the world. But don't flirt with my sister. <laughs> if you do, I'll have Carlos cut you up and feed you to the fish. That guy, he's the one who killed our boy? Yes. I hope you can find some measure of peace in that. He was so proud of you when they made you Captain America. Oh, jeez. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's like a movie poster, almost. I don't come up to the sky to tell you how to barrel roll or whatever, so don't come down here and stop me <laughs> Very mean person. <laughs> The legacy of that shield is complicated, to say the least. Whatever happened with Walker wasn't your fault. It's just that shield's the closest thing I've got left to a family. When you retired it, it made me feel like I had nothing left. Not his book. I just figured if it worked for him, then it would work for me. You gotta stop looking to other people to tell you who you are. You wanna climb out of that hell you're in. Do the work. You weren't amending, you were avenging. You were stopping all the wrongdoers you enabled because you thought it would bring you closure. You gotta make them feel better. You gotta go to them and be of service. I'm sure there's at least one person in that book who needs closure about something. Start with one. Call me when you have a lead and I'll be there. So you really gonna let Isaiah Bradley get in your head? You gonna let him decide what you do next? What would be the point of all the pain and sacrifice if I wasn't willing to stand up and keep fighting? Yeah, good for you, Falcon. Training montage. I mean, he was just doing it fine with Bucky. I know, yeah. Lose his mojo? I guess he's throwing it harder. He's trying to do these like little flips and stuff, and he does it too. On your left. Speaking of Falcon. There you go. I got some help to even out the odds. Voila. So we're working with criminals now. I'm only here to kill the fuck. You'll get your chance. It's like the happening. 
tonight we go to battle. All these pings are from places just before the Flag Smashers hit. Earlier today, we got one from New York. I Great work, Joaquin. I'll take it from here. You have to consider the optics. The optics are whatever we show them. There are troops in place. I can make a call and have the refugees move now. Oh, cool, we got some red lights. The movement is ready. They're not going to stop. There is a complete lockdown at the GRC meeting in Lower Manhattan. Carly's got to be close. Keep your eyes open. Excuse me, sir. Are you supposed to be here? It's me. Sharon, what the hell are you doing? Hey, Sam, I thought I'd get the band back together. Thank you. You're risking a lot coming here. Oh, nice. Sharon, Bucky, what's going nice. on? Nice. Like how it goes on his back quiet. as well. Black Captain America was on the moon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure about that sock that's on his head. I mean, it's comic accurate. A few french fries. Nebby, nebby. Growing on me a little bit. I like the rest of the outfit, though. You guys though. are gonna have to do something. This is an emergency evacuation. It's Carly. Aren't you tired of fighting for the wrong side, Mr. Barnes? It doesn't matter if I don't survive this. I'm fighting for something bigger than myself. You don't think I ever fought for something bigger than myself? That's all I ever tried to do. Oh, kind of weird to be like, oh no, not the politicians. I think your cause justifies all this death, but in the end, the nightmares won't go away. Hostages in route. ETA, six minutes. Oh, my I'm so sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Jeez. How'd you manage that? Murder. Mercury vapor. Mercury? Jeez. You better speed things up, Sam. The chopper's about to take off. Okay, remind me, this guy, why does he have a grudge? I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what Falcon did to him. Au revoir. Red Wing, see if anyone in there has flight training. Yeah, we got Red Wing back. Worst case scenario, we kill the hostages. Jeez. Either way, our message gets out to the world. It doesn't even matter if we die. Probably, oh, that's yeah. not what we signed up for. I don't want to die. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, that's that's cool. cool. I like that. So it's like a combination. Lucky. Oh, wow. someone to rescue. What do you <laughs> mean? I wish she puts it in like simple terms. Oh jeez. Let's finish this. I don't want to hurt people that don't matter. That don't matter. Oh. You don't think Lamar's like uh. He like made his own shield. Made a Walmart version. Yeah. Made a great value shield. Come on, Buck. Yeah, it's like uh, some aluminum or something. So it's like a Walmart shield that was on sale. Yeah. Thank you for saving us. You're welcome. Get wrecked, dude. Oh my goodness. Come on, Buck. Ah, oh, dang it. Superhero landing. <laughs> what if it was like a falcon? <laughs> uh oh. Boy, you just earned this ass whooping! <laughs> when we get to 
want to grab the control. I like that they're tackling like the logistics. Yeah. Any other movie would have just like moved past it and not explained it. This guy is a mess. Honestly, he really should have a pretty good advantage over her now that he has that serum. Can't lie. I was uh, hoping Carly was gonna. <laughs> I want Bucky to beat this guy so bad. Oh, the great value shield. A little redemption moment. I mean, he still is without any retirement benefits. I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna change what he did. That's true. Yeah, nice. There you go. We need some more thrust there, Falcon. There we go. Good for him. He's got a laser, okay. Carly. Get wrecked. You of all people bought into that bullshit. I'm trying something different. Maybe you should do the same. This way. Got all kinds of gadgets. It's kind of, kind of, like an Iron Man and Captain America mm -hmm. one, just with less gadgets and less strength. It's weird seeing John Walker there. I'm trying to remember why this guy hates Falcon so much. Is that you? Drop your weapon, Carly. Mm -hmm. No, you. I said drop it. You reminded me of a young me. I took you in and you betrayed me. I offered you friendship. What? And you spat in changing. my face. Weird, right? How much power does a power broker really have? So Sharon is a traitor? Oh my God, this is so twisted. So I devant me payer. Oh, okay. I don't do blackmail. Sharon's not playing. Sharon. <laughs> oh no. So what's the next time? Huh? Where does it end? Please. Curly, don't. Nice. No. We could do this all day. Mercy. Oh no. Truth and strict justice. It's a great app. Lincoln? Really? Great man. Oh, I just wanted one world, one people. I was in Solo, a Star Wars story, but nobody saw it. Was she? Yeah, she was. Solo. He doesn't know. That she's the power broker? No. Isn't Sharon bleeding to death? <laughs> Captain Falcon. You did your part in dealing with those terrorists. Now we'll do ours. You have to stop calling them terrorists. What else would we call them? What do you think those people are going to call you? These labels, they're often used to get around the question why. We finally have a common struggle now. Literally begging for I can't take him seriously with that sock on his head. If you could remember what it was like to be helpless, you would know that you're about to have the exact same impact. You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. The stares, the judgment. And there's nothing I can do to change it. Yet I'm still here. No blonde hair or blue eyes. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. You control the banks. Shit, you can move borders. You 
can feed a million people with a phone call. Who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions? Just more people like you. You've got to do better, Senator. You've got to step up. Look, you people have just as much power as an insane god or a misguided teenager. How are you going to use it? I was texting, and so all I heard was uh, I'm a black guy in stars and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Kev. Thanks. Was she shot in the stomach? Yeah, like on the side. He's talking to you. Suit looks good on you. <laughs> We're still working on it. And nobody knows. I promise. Can you help? Always. We're transporting them to the raft. One world, one people. Mm. Oh dear. Zemo's butler. There are no suspects in the bombing. The group had opposed the global relocation efforts. Like our friend Zemo kind of got the last laugh. Couldn't have worked better if I planned it myself. Well, maybe I did. No, I'm kidding. I didn't. What is he doing in there? My God, let's go. Now this is more like it. Things are about to get weird. We're going to need a U.S. agent. Will do, Val. Don't call me that. Copy. Thank you. <laughs> back, 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 back. Hey, what are you doing here? I, uh, he was murdered by the Winter Soldier. And that was me. Oh, oh God. I didn't have a choice. Come on, Black Falcon. You need to learn some manners. <laughs> I saw what you did out there. I heard the GRC was standing down on those plans of theirs. So you must have done something right. Black Captain America, huh? Damn right. Ain't gonna be easy, Sam. We built this country. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. There's something I want to show you. Good for him. Aww. Now they'll never forget what you did for this country. <laughs> Is there gonna be a season two? Uh, as of now, I don't think so. Ms. Carter, on behalf of the United States intelligence community, the Carter name has always been synonymous with service and trust. She was working with Carly, right? I've been waiting yeah, for you for a long time. Yeah, early on. And we'd like to offer you a full pardon. Welcome home, Agent Carter. Oh my God, and nobody knows. Super soldiers might be off the menu, but we're about to have full access. Should be something for everyone. This? What's going on with Sharon? Oh, oh my god. Just finished the final episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or Captain America and the Winter Soldier by the end credits. A lot of stuff happened in episode five and six. Episode five, particularly uh, being a very heavy episode all about race in America and the perception of America to different races of people, different types of people. The final episode, we get to see some sort of redemption for John Walker, kind of. I guess him saving everyone in the truck kind of brushed aside everything else that he did. We get to see Falcon become the new Captain America, a new suit revealed. I mentioned in my review with Jeremy that this suit, there's something off about it I can't quite put my finger on. I think it's the, the mask part. The fact that he looks like a Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> I think that if you got rid of that and maybe changed, they're trying to make it comic accurate, as comic accurate as possible and without it looking too ridiculous. Uh, but I like everything like neck down. I think it all yeah. looks good. So still growing on me. I think kind of like in the other Marvel movies, the first Avengers movies, for example, when you see Captain America and it just looks weird, I think that they will refine it and they'll, they'll perfect it. So uh, what did you think of the finale? So I really, really enjoyed the series a lot. I thought it was a very well done series. I really, 
enjoyed the characters just in general of, of course, Falcon and Winter Soldier. In particular, Bucky. I really, really enjoyed just seeing more of his character. I thought that they did a great job with him. Um, at times he was funny, obviously very, very smart. Clearly on this path of wanting to make things right or correct the damage that he caused. So it was nice seeing that side of him. Agree with you, there's a lot of issues that were brought up in this series that I did not foresee. Racial undertones, public assistance almost. I did not think that that was going to be in this series, but I have to say they did it very, very well. The character of Carly, she, I know that she obviously has done wrong, but her goal, I have to admire. She wants to unite everybody. Obviously the way that she's doing it is all wrong. Especially in that last episode, you could see that it was all heart with her. She truly felt like she was doing the right thing. Just like in so many of these series or these MCU movies, a lot of people just genuinely think that they're doing the right thing. And she's just another one of them. To me, she wasn't a true villain where I'm just like, ooh, that's the bad guy. I don't like him. It wasn't that cut and dry with her. So I really, really like her character for that reason that you can sort of sympathize with her at certain times. Walker, on the other hand, <laughs> absolutely dislike. There was not a moment where I felt bad for him. There was not a moment that I didn't think that he deserved to be distrusted, to be tarnished as far as the new Captain America. I think that he brought complete dishonor to Captain America and it makes me appreciate Steve Rogers so, so, That's so good. much. I'm glad to hear you say that. In this museum, they have like the images of him and it just kind of brought all that back. And I'm just like, him compared to Walker, even before Walker committed these horrible acts, I just disliked him right away. There was not a moment I was like, okay, let me give this guy a chance. I just didn't like him. <laughs> even in the last few minutes where he was supposed to be redeeming himself, Absolutely not. Dislike the guy 100%. Did not like his character. I don't know if they were really trying to go for like redeeming his character. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like there's no coming back from what he did. When he killed that guy with the shield to make it even worse, like he didn't just kill him. He killed him with the shield that was Steve Rogers. It wasn't even his. It's not his shield. He's not my Captain America at all. I dislike him a lot. So yeah, that's Walker. Um, and then the final scene with him and Val, kind of Val giving him, and I know that she was in Black Widow, but I'm really confused as to like, what is she all about? Yeah. What agency is she with? Is she with an agency? Is she rogue? What, what's the deal with her? Yeah. Because I only know her from Seinfeld. <laughs> and that's completely different. So I don't know what that's about, but they left it open-ended. So I have to assume there's gonna be a season two or there's gonna be like a follow-up movie or something yeah. of that sort. I guess Walker has this new opportunity to start some crap up or start killing some other people on behalf of Val. That's the gist that I got. It'll be interesting to see kind of where his story goes. I'm not very hopeful for his character at all. There was a lot going on in this series. It wasn't just the issues that the Falcon and Winter Soldier had to deal with. It was like, you have Sharon. Oh my gosh, did not foresee that coming. That is crazy. She's a backstabber. She's a backstabber. I can't believe it. She was working with Carly, from what I understand, and she was the power broker all along. Oh my gosh, that was one of the biggest twists I've ever seen. I did not see that coming at all. And then they pardoned her at the end, mind blown, also left open-ended. What is she gonna do? What trouble is she gonna start? Crazy, absolutely crazy. <laughs> and then you have the family dynamic of Sam and his sister and the boat. 
I understand why they wanted to put that in there, but I think that they spent too much time on that. Felt like they were just kind of going around and around and around with it. I don't think that they needed that many scenes about them trying to save this boat. But I do appreciate the scenes where Sam and Bucky are pretty much bonding and coming together. I really do, like when they were working on the boat. I, I did like that part. But as far as like the issue of saving the boat, I don't know. I, I just felt like they, I, I was almost expecting more out of it. But I did enjoy seeing Bucky flirt with Sam's sister. That was, I love that. And then another storyline that I really enjoyed was the Isaiah storyline that he was the first super soldier. I felt so awful for him. His story was just absolutely heartbreaking. And I'm so glad that they added that in this series. I thought that it just, it would not be the same without it. And that final scene where Sam showed him in the museum, the, the part that's dedicated to him and acknowledging him and his, I don't even want to say contribution because it wasn't something that he- it's like It wasn't voluntary. Yeah, it wasn't voluntary. It wasn't willful. It was something that he was forced to do. But at the end of the day, it was something that he had a hand in, something that he did. You know, he kind of paved the way for Captain America, the original Captain America. So I really, really enjoyed. And the actor that plays Isaiah, I think did a really, really great job. And it just kind of pulled at your heartstrings. And so I'm really, really glad that they included that. The series in all, I thought was really, really great. They kind of touched on everything, all sorts of issues going on. So I really enjoyed it. I hope there's a season two. I like all the characters, very, very good. I think that in all, I would have to give it I'm gonna go with uh, 8.5. You touched on everything I pretty much wanted to talk about. So the whole Isaiah thing was really tough listening to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, really, really sucks for him. It also put Sam in kind of this awkward position of what do I do? Because he understands where Isaiah is coming from, but he's also uh, like when he talks to Sarah, and Sarah's like, you need to make your own choice. You don't have to listen to Isaiah. And Isaiah basically was calling him a fool for even attempting to try to be a black man that's Captain America. And Sam has that whole speech at the end where he's like, we built this country and I'm gonna fight for it, you know, and um, even ended up swaying Isaiah, I think at the end. And then especially mm -hmm. having the monument to him, which Isaiah never thought would ever happen. Nobody would ever care because that's been his experience for 50 years or whatever. It's nice uh, things have changed. They're not perfect yet, but it was, you know, Sam is like, I know people, things are different. And Isaiah's like, no way, you're an idiot if you think that. And I think that echoes what a lot of people still feel, you know? That's why there's still racial tension in 2021 for some freaking reason. Anyway, the whole Sharon thing really threw me off too, the first mm. time I saw that. Uh, there were some people that were saying it's not actually Sharon. I don't know if I buy that. Um, it's like some other character that's like taking on her likeness or image. I don't, I don't know if that's the case. I doubt it. Another thing about this series is that it is the most like grounded. I say that kind of loosely, where you have you know people flying around with wings and super soldiers and everything. But the most grounded uh, so far in comparison to like WandaVision, you know, where she's using her telekinetic power and creating reality, and it's a little bit more fictional. Where this one has like real world issues that everybody can understand or see. I would rate this. I don't know if I rated it with Jeremy. I'd rate this probably about eight out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. I have to add one thing. Sam becoming, and I don't even know if he's official. I'm gonna say that he's officially Captain America. That was so appropriate. That should have been the first choice from the beginning. It felt absolutely right, absolutely appropriate that if they're going to have a replacement Captain America, it absolutely should be Sam. With that said, Whatever he was wearing on his head does not work. It looks like a sock. It looks like a Kleenex. It, it does. The rest of the outfit is top notch, but they, they, I hope they change that because that just doesn't, doesn't, it work doesn't for look you. right. I loved that at the end, he almost realized that that was his role and that he is Captain America. It's, it's right for him to take that place. He kind of took it upon himself which I like. It wasn't somebody like, okay, we're gonna announce. It was, this is where I need to be. This is my job now. And I'm gonna do it the best of my ability. 
So I really, really enjoyed that part, and I'm glad that they added that in there. And you know, at the end of the day, when Cap gave Sam the shield in Endgame, he was right all along. Steve Rogers is always right. Original Captain America. Mm. Love him. He's great. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below letting us know what you think of the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, what you thought of uh, some of our thoughts, just what you thought of the series as a whole. Subscribe if you want to see more fun content like this. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos like this. As always, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>